City Machine is on the march again. Leicester Fun TV presents a variety of content like fun discussions, match analysis, and engaging with Leicester fans worldwide. We want your views live. Thanks to our sponsors, Everot, Follow Blinds, Pocket Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Distillers Direct, Hologram, Take Me, Newbie and Co, and the Foxes Arms and Rainbows. We are live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Well, 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 cut that one a little bit short, that intro video, but... Leicester lose. Leicester City have just lost another game against Bristol City. 1-0. Bristol City won. Leicester City nil. Let me know in the comments what you think to the game, how you think it went. Um, I'll give you a little bit of time to get your comments in before we properly start. But yeah. <laughs> So, as I just said, obviously, unless you've been living under a rock for the last, um, what, two and a half hours, three hours, Leicester City have lost against Bristol City 1-0 away at Ashton Gate. I think it's still called Ashton Gate. Um, another lacklustre performance in my eyes. Um, another bad managerial performance, if you want to call it that, from Enzo Maresca. Um 72 minutes, 73 minutes, we waited until the first substitution. We didn't make the first change until uh, until Bristol City had scored. We've seen that a few times this season. When I say a few times, I mean a lot. So let me know in the comments what you think uh, to the game. Also, I'm going to put a link in the chat. So basically what it means is if anyone wants to come and have a chat, you can click this link here. That's what it looks like on YouTube. Um, this is what it looks like on Facebook. Um, Nick, I can see you in the comments, mate. Click the link. Come and have your say, uh, mate. Um, what do we do? I mean, I I'm almost lost for words. I mean, you know me. I'm never lost for words. I've always got something to say. But I'm almost lost for words right now. Um, yeah. Let's see what some of the comments are. There are a few comments like this, which I expected. Enzo out. Sunny Adventure says, Mick Hewitt says, get Cooper in now. Matt Creighton says, call Warnock. Facebook user says, Enzo out. Facebook user again says, we're in big trouble at this rate if we're still in the championship next season with a depleted squad transfer embargo and FFP charges. I want to talk a little bit about that, actually. By the way, if you realize, if you, if this was your comment and, and it's coming up as Facebook user, easy to, to sort out. Just head to YouTube instead. And your name and photo will appear instead, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, Nick said, yeah, I've just, uh, Nick says, fuming with that performance, locks, what a shower of poop. <laughs> Enzo slowly becoming BR, lack of sobs and no fight. The league's done and we'll be in the crappy league again next season. Nick, I know, mate, that you and I were two of the most positive fans, you know, all season, really, a lot of the season. And obviously, I think that shows that even the biggest defenders of Enzo and the way Enzo plays, even us now have turned against him. And I think that shows really where we're at performance wise, um, opinion wise, you know, what our opinions are of the manager and the way we play. <clears throat> you know, never did I think six months ago that I would be sat here in March complaining in fact i thought i'd be sat here in march in the premier league already promoted but here we are and there is one man to blame there is one man to blame because i keep seeing people say we can't blame the manager because it's the players that aren't scoring the goals but everyone was happy to blame brendan rogers last season which i did as well everyone was happy to blame brendan rogers but they're not happy to blame enzo maresca what Again, Nick, anyone else, click that link. Come and have your say. Let me know what you think. James says, snatching defeat from Jaws of Victory this season. Matt says, same as last season, too many players down in tools and wanting out. 
Matt Greaves says too many players underperforming. Uh, the incredible decline in performances, passion and determination has stumped me. Genuinely blows my mind how we once again crumble and look so lost. Dave Platt says, why are the players not up for it? Mark is here, says no plan B. Another Facebook user, no plan B from Mareska and all team can't play well. Poor performance. Richie says it's the players' fault, not Enzo. Again, was that the case last season? Was it the players' fault or was it Brendan Rodgers? Which one was it? Because it can't be one on the other. It was, it's either the manager's fault or it's the player's fault. Was Brendan Rodgers to blame last season? Because if he was, it's Enzo's fault now. Dave says, not in our hands now, relying on others. Um, Ashley Kerr, Kerr says, got good enough players, just way too slow. Another one from Dave Platts. Not sure what the atmosphere will be like on Monday. I said that on my show last night, mate. I said, I, I don't know what the atmosphere would be like at the King Power if we lose. And everyone said, oh, stop talking about if we lose. Well, here we are, we've lost. So what's the atmosphere going to be like on Monday? Stephen says, Jesse Marsh available. Fingy Magic says, keep your head up, locks. It's hard to, mate. It's hard to. Uh, Richie says, get rid of Fast, Vestergaard, Ward, Dacca, Ian Acho. I mean, I see you didn't mention Jamie Vardy there, Richie. Vardy missed three clear-cut chances. I'm not saying get rid of him. Although, it, at the minute, we're not going to be able to sign him on a new contract anyway because of the embargo. So, that's a good job. Enzo has got to go now just to change things because at this rate, can't see us winning another game. Tom Egerton or Edgerton, uh, sorry if I got that wrong, mate. Don't see what we've just spent that break doing. No improvements. Look lost out there today. Again, Tom, mate, like anyone else, there is a link which I'm putting in the chat right now. Just click that link and come and have your say. Come and have a chat with me. But I do agree with you, Tom. Christopher says bottled it. Uh, another one says no confidence and one way of playing. We're not clicking. Couldn't agree with you more, mate. I mean, how long... Um, how 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 long are we meant to leave us? You know, the eleven players on the pitch before making a change. Like, do you not think when we've missed three chances, Vardy particular in particular, when you miss three chances like that and you're not scoring, why do you wait until we concede before you make a change? I don't understand it. Enzo's one well, Enzo's main job on match day is to make substitutions. That, that is their main job. That is the, the manager has all week to affect the squad, affect the way we play. On match day, he only has one effect, and it's the substitutions. And he didn't do that. He didn't do it. So yeah. Daka's fault. Yeah. No confidence in one way of playing. We're not clicking. Promotion still in your hands. The title is just the cherry on the top. Promotion is still in our hands, but if Ipswich, I mean, if Ipswich win, I'll keep an eye on the score, guys. But um, if Ipswich win today, we go third. We drop out of the out of the top two, out of the uh, out of the. No, they're playing at half five. Sorry, they're playing at half five. Um, but yeah, um, Marsh is a good shout. Saved Leeds last year. He's a winner. It's nine games. The players are thinking about their summer holidays. The whole team choking, woeful all round. Uh, Darren says, get some better central defenders. Hey, guess what? Connor Cody's on the bench. Wasn't used again. Wasn't used again. Players and management have a lot to answer for. This season is a massive disappointment now to lose the lead we had at the top is inexcusable. No one looks interested and too many excuses each week. All wheels have well and truly fallen off. The club sadly looks like it's in decline. Keith says, Maresca tactics, so boring, no urgency. Just had a feeling we were going to lose. More exciting to watch a chess match. Is this the biggest bottle job in championship history? Absolutely. Absolutely, no doubt. Just like we had the biggest bottle job in top four history twice. Is it in our DNA now? This is such a good start to the weekend. Just need Leeds and Ipswich to win now. <laughs> yeah. Dara says Enzo clueless, free fall into the playoffs. If Vardy gets his goals, we win the game. Yes, he does, Andrea, but then doesn't and isn't Enzo's job to take Vardy off and put a different striker on, uh, which he didn't do until we went 1-0 down. Enzo is crap. Mick Hewitt says we have to change the manager now. Makes changes far too late and no plan B. Trevor Rose says Fatuwu, rubbish. Chowdhury, rubbish. Vardy passed it. Roscoe Ross says the team have lost interest. I do get I do get that feeling. 
I'm going to get drunk and end up in a skip, Matt says. Um, all season, there's never been a plan B. We got away with it early in the season, but even lower teams have worked us out. Guys, there is the, there are the links. Just click those links. Come and have your say on the show. Enzo to blame for late subs again, not the players. Um, Imtiaz, I blame the mix. I think the blame is a mix of both players and manager this season. Last season, it was Defo Brendan. Though Imtiaz, though, how can you say that? How can you say it? I don't understand. It is one or the other. If it's a mix of Enzo and the players this year, it was a mix of the players and Brendan Rodgers last year. Surely. Ipswich need to lose later. We're done. Not going anywhere. We've slagged off Spurs for third in a two-horse race. We're going to finish... I'll correct you there, mate. I think we might finish fourth in a, in a two-horse race, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Enzo needs to look at himself. Yeah, I mean, Enzo's got an event coming up next week at the Chutney and Ivy with Gil and Balagay. I'd be surprised if he shows his face, to be honest with you. Trevor Rowe says no plan B. Imran says problem is that the players are too casual. Andreas says he has to go. What are you on about? You are talking rubbish. You really are. Enzo only has one way to play, no plan B. We're slow in the build-up and poor in the decision-making, masters of our own downfall. Hamza, I thought, had a good game. That's the, that's the first comment today that I think is a bit unfair. Hamza had a, had a decent game. Positive, shite yet again, tactics all wrong. Cody needs to start over fast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Did Vardy get sent off? Leicester will go up. Chill, gents. There is no way we get promoted second play, first or second. There is no way. I can't see it, mate. I really can't. I've heard a few people say we can't renew contracts. Yes, we can renew a contract. It has nothing to do with the transfer embargo. A new contract is not a transfer. Scott, I'm sorry to break the news to you, mate. You're wrong. Okay, you are wrong. Um, I, I haven't got the screenshot here in front of me. Um, I'm just going to see if I can load it up for you, pal. Let's have a look here. I can't find it. Um, clubs can offer new contracts to existing players, but it will be dependent on whether the EFL approve of it. So if they do want to kind of give us a kick in the face, then they won't approve it. But we'll see on that one. Uh, I'm going to get Phil in to join us in a second. Let me just read a couple quick comments here. Um, there's no effort now because they know they're getting points deduction if they get promoted so they're not even trying i would argue though that matthew that the form the dip in form started before we even heard about the the points deductions or the possible points deductions um our players are arrogant and complacent which causes them to play casually imtiaz says and finally um paul Locke says not given up yet still think we have the team to win the league we definitely have the team to win the league it's just whether we have the manager unfortunately let's get phil in to to join us it Hello, mate. Hi, Locks. You all right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. No. Are you? <laughs> uh, str struggling a bit. I after that, I'm I'm meant to be working today, Locks, uh, and I I am working, but it's hard to uh, obviously couldn't get to the game today because of that. But um, mm. it, it definitely feels like the wheels. I don't know what's going on. I've got a form table. I'm just going to put on screen if I can, Locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since Jan, this is the form since January the first. So literally wow. in those games, we're we're the eleventh team since January the first in that form team. So that's that's effectively twelve games. We can obviously see Leeds, Ipswich, but Norwich come to us on Saturday, locks mm -hmm. on on Monday, and then we've got yeah. West Ham, we've got Southampton, we've got Preston still to play. You know, mm. that's that's a tough form table, isn't it? And I, and I've just seen as well in the last five games, we're twenty first in the form table. Is that right? So, yes, we're 21st. So, you know, I, I, well, we don't, we don't deserve to be top two, do we? We don't deserve it. We deserve to fall out today from, from the, from the form, from the recent form. Um, I mean, you know me, Phil, obviously I, I was Enzo's biggest supporter and, and the style of football's biggest supporter for the majority of the season. And so was, interestingly, so was Nick Moore. Uh, and he's now turned as well. There's no, there's no excuse, is there, for like what's happened? Listen, I, 
and we've had these arguments and uh, we always say on Leicester Fan TV you can go back you can watch the videos on YouTube they're there we we have had arguments and, and I was always like and I still feel now that I, I'm still 100% backing Enzo and what he's trying to do at the club I, you know, I, you can't put everything down to today's result against Enzo because Vardy had two, three amazing chances that he, he should have got one or two. He could have had a hat trick today. But the thing that I've been saying all season about Enzo ball and Enzo tactics is I, I've I've always found it frustrating that Enzo says he's got one way of playing, and that's Enzo ball. We all call it Enzo ball, but today. Again, when we're losing 1-0 with 15 minutes to go, we're losing in a game that we really... A draw would have been a bad result today. But today, we we just simply had to get back and get a draw into it. And again, I, I don't... We, we were still... We had a free kick, I think, on the 90th minute, 91st minute. We had a free kick. And there's me. I know I'm old school, but I am like, you need to put that into the box to create some sort of confusion the ball might drop somewhere if you don't put the ball in the box then we're not creating that half a chance of scoring a goal and making it one all we didn't we passed the ball around the box and we lost it in the 93rd minute kdh had the ball around the middle of the park and was trying to go forward with it and he he looked to do a sidewards backwards pass and again we lost the ball and i'm like the the manager has to look for me in those moments and change what we're doing. We can't play Enzo ball all day long and keep, if I kept banging my head against this table, I would keep hurting myself. Look at that form table since Christmas. That's banging your head form against the table. Isn't it? Yep. It's, I mean, it is woeful, mate. I mean, the thing that's bothering me the most is you, you'd think all these defeats, they would just give the players a kick up the arse or, or even or even Enzo. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Re- I, I didn't see the video from the com- the press conference, mate, but and, but Reedy told me that he did mention something in there about another way of winning. I, I didn't see anything today, another way of winning. It was the same way of winning. I know what you were saying about um, you can't put all the blame on on Enzo today, obviously Vardy missed his chances, but do you find it crazy that we didn't make a, a change until the 73rd minute? And then, and that was when they scored. We didn't make uh, a single change. I don't know if he was, I don't know if Nacho was warming up before the goal. I didn't see, but he didn't come on until we were one nil down. And we've seen that a lot of times under Rogers as well. We saw that. I, I, I've, I've Listen, I've said all season, if somebody could explain the difference from really what Claude Puel did to Brendan Rodgers to what Brendan Rodgers did to Enzo, people have tried to explain it to me and I'm still sort of like saying, well, I don't know, I still sort of see the same same traits, square, heg, square pegs, round holes at times when we haven't got the right players. But again, this is to me is sometimes if, if you try to play Enzo ball, but you've got some players injured and we've had injuries. Ricardo Pereira has been injured and did has been injured. You know, then sometimes you might have to look at it and go, well, I'm, I'm going to have to change my, my formation and my tactics a little bit because I haven't quite got the players to play it or, or we're one nil down with 10 minutes to go. I need to change formations. I can see him run is here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll get, we'll get him running. Cause there is some, I'll, I'll ask him in a second. Imran, how are you mate? You're right. Yeah, I was all right until two o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> that's been the the story of our weekends recently i think hasn't it um yeah. imran the first question i'll ask you because i've seen a few comments slating uh hamza chowdhury i thought he was one of the better performances today i didn't think he did much wrong what what did you think to him yeah i don't think he i don't think he did much wrong he's a bit rash in the challenge um mm. but he he was the only player actually from that whole team that was actually giving a shit, if you know what I mean. Like he was going in and making yeah. a tackle, trying to be difficult to play against. And I keep saying on the comments, we, we're just programmed to pay, play very casually right now. We start games passing it around at the back. And then once you start playing like that, it's very difficult to become in, you know, increase your intensity. And other teams yeah. do it. They'll increase their intensity because we'll give the ball away. And then they're at us. They're already at the heart of us. But we're just too slow, lethargic. And it's just really difficult to watch at the moment, isn't it? Locks, didn't Bristol City in that last 10, 15, 20 minutes, 
the team and the crowd sounded like they were going for promotion, if you ask me. They they were up and at it, their team, their players. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, people will say, oh, this they were playing, this is their FA Cup final. Oh, shut <laughs> up. No, they're just no, no. they're playing at that like Imran says, <laughs> intense type of football. Yeah, I think people need to remember we're not the yeah, we don't, cup anymore. It's we don't play that. <laughs> yeah. We don't play that intensity style of football feel anymore, right? And yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just saying that um, you know, it's just the way we're playing, like we've got players like Mav and Didi. We've got KDH, we've got Fatal, they've all dropped off form as well. They, they don't have to be bothered you know, giving the ball away. Even Harry Winks had a bit of a stinker today, didn't he? Um, mm. So it's uh, it's not looking good, guys. I think we're going to have to... Oh, and Imran, I think we've Imran's lost you. Yeah, yeah, we've Imran's lost you there, Imran. Good. Cheers for coming on, though, Imran. Much appreciated. Um, Phil, the thing that's bothering me the most, and maybe this is be me being a little bit petty, I'm already seeing the media, different media outlets and stuff, basically, you know, taking the mick out of us a little bit. I mean, I've just seen a post uh, from Sky saying about how eight, uh, seven, 12 games ago we were 17 points clear of Leeds and now with 38 games played, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're level on points. Um, do you think this is like the biggest bottle? I mean, we've not been in the Premier League for quite a few years. Do you think this is the biggest bottle job like that, that's ever happened in the championship? Because I think it is. Locks, listen, we sing a song to Spurs, yep. who came third in a two-horse race. It, the people are going to sing to us if we're not careful. Who came third in a one-horse race? We were a one-horse race. We were so far ahead in this league. We were all already starting to look forward to next season, which is which is dangerous. But we're going to come third. In a one horse race, aren't we? I think there's a worry we might come fourth in a one horse race. I really we, do. We could be third by is it Ipswich kick off at five thirty, and I think I'm right in saying if I'm if Ipswich win, we are third. Is that correct? We we will be third. Yep, we will be third. Yeah. Um what do you think to the Enzo out comments? Because I... there's no point now. It's it's stupidity. It, I, I think people are entitled to their views, but this it'd be, it'd be crazy, wouldn't it, to change Enzo now? I, I I personally would not think that would make sense, Locks, at all. You've just hmm? uh, I don't know what we do, but we've just I mean Nor Norwich Norwich on uh, Monday just is going to be beyond important, isn't it? To stop the rot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree, mate. I mean. I said on my show yesterday, Phil, and I said it a second ago before you joined, do you think there's going to be a toxic atmosphere at the KP on Monday? I think there needs to be a boisterous atmosphere because I think fans need to be absolutely 100% noisy and 100% behind the uh, behind the lads on the pitch and, and give it a go. I, I, th I think if we were to... A draw would not be great. A win is obviously what we all went. A defeat, I, I think we'd all be like, I think there'd be a stunned atmosphere if we were to lose at home to Norwich because I think people would literally be looking around going, we we have messed this up. This is going to be messed up. You know, I think that's, it is like, like that comment there. I think it is backs against the wall on Monday for everybody. And, and I think if, Norwich a third. Look at look at that form table again, Lox. I'm going to put it back on there. Yeah, as, yeah. If you want, as if you want to play the team who's currently third best on form since January. Mm. Won two games out of twelve. That is, ah. Oh. No, no. Two we've won wins. two, two, two home, two away. We've won five. We've won five. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But seventeen points in 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 twelve games, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do, so, do you not see a, do you see a world in which Leicester lose against Norwich and Enzo is sacked at this stage? Do you see do you see a world in which seven games to go Enzo leaves? No. no? I don't out I don't know. But out, out of you know desperation? Of, yeah, yeah. I mean there's there's as we know the FFP rulings whether we're in the in the Premier League or if we're in the EFL is just going to cause us all sorts of mischief one way or the other. My, my only logic is it's going to be it's going to be easier on the club if we're in the Premier League, surely, because of sponsorship deals, 
income and everything so i i, I don't want to even locks try and consider what leicester city looks like next season in the championship with transfer embargoes points deductions and all that i don't want to know what the next year five years looks like after that if we don't go up well i mean this comment here mark said i can see i i can't see him sacked but he could possibly walk i mean i think that would be stupid because i think it's it's most well i don't want to say mostly but the the turn it's his responsibility right what's happening on the pitch i can't see him so walking no no at the end of the season for sure i could Mm -hmm. see it uh, as equally, I could see him getting sacked. I think he will definitely. We will part ways if we if we don't get promoted. That will definitely happen. Um, and then, yeah, our last comment I want to get up and speak to you about Phil is this one. Obviously, you've just touched on it there, but like if if we don't go up, I mean, it is it is looking very very bleak. Like we, we've got a transfer embargo as it stands. We we won't be able to sign anyone. Uh, in in the summer, we will obviously need to sell Dewsbury Hall, maybe uh, Hermanson. Maybe he might have some value in here. Mavadidi, Fat, well, Fatu will go back on on you know to to uh, Port uh, Lisbon. Sorry. So, do you like this? Is our best chance, isn't it? Like there is there there will be no better chance at getting promotion than than this season. W- w- yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Locks today, we had ninety five million pounds worth of talent sat on the bench. When people are saying, should we beat Bristol City or should we not? The the value of our squad compared to the value of Bristol City, who loved Matty James for everything he did for us at Leicester. And he was always unlucky. But it, it's Matty James who eight, nine years ago was doing OK for us, but wasn't good enough. And, and we let go. So we should be absolutely cruising past a team like Bristol City. It, this is by far our best season Look at all the players who are going to go at the, at the end of this year, regardless of what league we're in, because they're on free transfers. Look at who would be able to sign. It, it would be a very, very tough championship season and onwards from then if we don't go up. Here's Tom, who was there. Yeah, just just literally before you start talking, Tom, because I know you've probably got a lot to say. Um, there's a lot I'll of go. people watching. If you, oh, okay, Phil, cheers. But yeah, thanks I'll let Tom on, go. Phil. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Um, there's a lot of people watching. If you don't mind, just dropping a like. Um, if you're on, if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button as well. It'd be much appreciated. It is free. It takes two seconds. So that would be great. Tom, just 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 talk, mate. I won't ask you. Quite, just let me know what you think. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> another game that if you don't take your chances you're going to lose and we had enough chances to win the game but once again the performance was not there nowhere near a good enough performance in this division with nine games to go to be talking about going up you know i tried to defend us last night in a a chat in a a show fleet that got you know a leech channel and got laughed at because but i generally thought we'd do it but again today another performance something is not right within that team uh i can't figure out why ricardo can again too late bring ricardo on too late in the game game had gone we all could see with 25 30 minutes ago that they were over in our midfield chasing we didn't we got punished we then make the changes i said it too many times this season endo goes to go through a reaction than actually does something before it's not proactive enough we all could see we were getting overrun in the middle of the park. Matty James destroyed us. You know, Matty mm-hmm. James <laughs> absolutely put <laughs> us to the sword. You know, who would have said that two years, three years ago? That Matty James would have absolutely destroyed that midfield of Harry Winks. You know, in Dewsbury Hall. I thought Dewsbury Hall was poor today again. You know, the performance against Chelsea, we were like, Dewsbury Hall's back. Mavadidi, he's back. Mavadidi today, Bristol City did the homework. They put three men on him. They put three men on him and said, you try and beat us now. You try and take us on outside or inside. You ain't getting past us. He didn't get past us. Fatui didn't get the ball enough for me in the first half. You know, he proved when he could. He was going to destroy Dicko in that position. We didn't do it. Vardy has to take the chances. I've slated Daka on here for not taking his chances. I've slated Vardy today for not taking the chances. Mm-hmm. He scored enough goal for us. People say, but, you know, he's got credit in the bank from that. There's not credit in the bank with the game to go when you're Jamie Vardy. And he'll be kicking himself tonight because he probably could have had a hat trick. The one, I mean, the one on one in the second half, it's an open goal for me. Why is he not reversing that back across the goal? Why is he going for the hardest finish and, you know, trying to put it past the goal? The goal is going past him. So, naturally, for me, that ball's going back across the goal into the other corner. 
just, yeah, it was just, I don't swear much on this channel. It was a shower of shit from start to finish today, from my opinion. It wasn't good enough. It isn't good enough so far. One win in six says it all for me. And there is something seriously wrong. And at the end of the game, there was confrontation between players and, and players and fans. Some fans obviously were very, very angry about Talk that to me about that, Tom. Sorry. I was going to ask, what, what happened yeah. at the end? Just players coming over to clap. And obviously, there was a mixed bag of reviews. There was some like, fans obviously are happy, you know, clapping, staying. We're still second in the league. And, you know, I don't know why anyone's angry about that. There's the other, obviously, the, the probably more grown up adults who are saying, no, this isn't good enough effing and blinding towards the players and the players can hear it they're not daft they know what they're being you know someone chucking fingers up towards them and a few of the players reacted towards it you know weren't happy that they were seeing that but understand we've gone from 17 points clear in the league to now by the end of tonight we could be third yeah the game in hand we can still get back into the top two even with Leaf Leeds and uh, Ipswich win you know if we win beat our game in hand as long as we keep winning but at the moment where's that win coming from I mean Norwich I think are losing at the moment to Ply Plymouth if they lose today, they're going to be wanting to uh, kickstart their season again on Monday. You know, we are in a mess. I, yeah. I, I, I truly believe the FFP and Premiership thing really would have put fire in our bellies to go and get the job done now to the end yes. of the season. I didn't see that that reaction today, and that's the more disappointing thing. I did not see a reaction after what we've seen over the last seven, eight games. I thought today was the FFP, the Premier League, the EFL. It was. Let's put two fingers up to them. Let's go and finish the job and get back to the Premier League. At the moment, time if we play like that, we'll be in the Championship next season. I'll say that now. We we, we will not beat teams like West Brom, Southampton, and Coventry in the playoffs if that's who's in there at the end of the season. If we're in them with them four, uh, three teams, we've got no chance. And, and the problem is the mentality as well, isn't it? The mentality of the players having dropped into the playoffs, it's going to be disastrous. Oh. How do you turn that around? How do you turn this mess around at the moment? That's the biggest thing to me. How do you turn it around? How do you turn from winning 20, was it 25 games out of 32 to now into a position where you've only won one in the last six and that was against a poor uh, Sunderland team? You chucked it away at uh, Hall City with two poor goals. And that's the difference where we are now at the moment for me and more concerning is we're conceding goals for fun. You know, today's, today's goal is disappointing. No one closed them down. Hamza stands on the edge of the area watching the player take the shot. Uh, please subscribe, guys. You know, we want to build the channel higher than we can and we know we can go further. But yeah, disappointed today. I'm going to go in a mix. I'm going to get myself a coffee before driving the last 25 minutes of the road home. But I just had to stop and get a few things off because I was driving yeah. home and I'm, I'm angry tonight. I haven't been yeah. mean all season. When we've lost games, I've been like, it's been this. Today, I'm angry and I'm starting to get frustrated. And there comes a point where stuff needs to be answered for. And if this season we don't get out of the league and um, we are in the Championship here, we are in a bigger mess than people need to realise. And the likes of John Rudkin need to be gone next season. You know, that the time is up for him, in my view. You know, the club is in a financial mess. Him and Whelan have both got to be answered for and accounted for why the club has got itself into such a financial mess, you know, if we don't go up this season. Because we're going to start next season with a points deduction in the Championship. Look at Reading. They went down after that happened to them. You're not going to yep. keep your big name players happy. So, look, we'll cheers, to Tom, mate. We can, but massive game now against Norwich for me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Tom, mate. Thanks for coming Thanks, on and, and uh, giving us your thoughts. I'll see you soon, mate. Thank you see very much. Mate. Nick, we will end with you, mate. Just before we end the show, we'll get some thoughts in. I, I said in the show earlier, you, like me, were quite, you know, supportive, well, very supportive of Enzo and what Enzo was trying to do all season. And, Everyone has been supportive in 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 a way, but I'm saying when there were doubts there, we kind of went in with more of a level head. I saw your comments earlier. Now you have flipped, like me. You've had that enough. Made me flip blocks. I'm I'm seething. You know, it's the best part of what uh, nearly an hour or so since full time. Tom, as usual, makes fantastic points. Now, of all this crap that's been going on with this financial fair play rubbish and all that lot that's happening to the club. If that was me and you on the pitch, or Reedy, or Tom, or Jamie, or even Phil, we'd be like, on that pitch, giving everything we can to try and sort it out because the club is, if it doesn't go up, next season, you think this season now is bad? I'm calling it here and then, mark the date, you know, Good Friday of 2024, we'll get relegated again, we'll go down to League One. 
because we've got a minus points deduction on its way. We've got a transfer embargo. I'm telling you now, we can't even sign players like Fatoui, for example. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm, I'm not too. After his last couple of performances, I'm not too bothered if we sign Fatoui because he's he's very inconsistent at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I no. I, I agree with you, mate. Um, the last thing I want to just ask you, just before we finish now, is something that's been bugging me for the last couple of weeks. Connor Cody, mate. I mean, I think he put in a really good performance in the Bournemouth game in the FA Cup. And then I can't remember, was it the Sunderland game after that? Um, where, again, we kept a clean sheet, another good performance. I was calling for him to start over fast. Um, we need some leaders on the pitch. We need a bit of organisation at the back. Do, do you think he should be starting now? He should, because he didn't have a chance at the start of the season. And fair play, you know, fast and Vestergaard were the two best centre-backs in the league. That's fair enough. But now... We're conceding goals. We need a change at the back, don't we? I can't see what harm it would do, really, mm. putting Cody in. But personally, I think we change the system up, full stop. I think we yeah. go... I'm going to quote Jamie. I think we go old school. I think these last eight games... Yeah. We're going to need two strikers up top because... But it won't happen, I, will it? it? Well, it won't happen. But... I was with, I was with me in-laws and we were watching the game and I said to my father-in-law, I said, get all Brighton on or something. Just to give you a more... Not only does he give you the defensive aspect of the game, he also gives you that attacking aspect of the game. But no, what happens? He takes Hamza off for Ricardo. Now, for me, if Ricardo is fit enough to be on the bench, he's fit enough to start. Yep. Why did he not start? <laughs> uh, Nacho, coming on for Varda. Again... He's not been around all bloody season. He's probably the most coldest striker he could possibly be thrown on. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I really, I, and his comments, and his, and his comments after the game, that's what... I haven't got... seen him, mate. I haven't seen him. Oh, don't, honestly. Excuse... I'm guessing it's excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse, and it's a lot of deflection. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we were shy, and we deserved, we deserved that. We deserved it all day long. And now... We've got everybody against us, the EFL, the Premier League and stuff. And now Leeds fans are laughing their heads off along with Ipswich and all that lot because... What what were his excuses, mate? Was, I'm guessing he blamed it on the chances missed. Yeah, the same the same old added history. But what the hell are they doing on this break? Are you, are you telling me you've not been working on but finishing because Vardy wouldn't have gone in international duty. Nope. KDH went on the international duty. My video wasn't on the... Inter- so what, what have they been doing? <laughs> it doesn't make honestly. I'm. I don't get me back up this much, but I'm livid with this one. Yeah. This is this is one of the worst ones it's been for a long time, and I'm not impressed, especially with yeah. what's. You, yeah, you, you're not. You're not the only one, mate. Um, I'm gonna let you go, mate, because we're gonna end the show. Um, will you will you be with us with Jamie on uh, Sunday, mate? If he gets me on, job. yeah, he will. He will, mate. All right, catch you in a bit, Nick. Cheers That's for joining on. Appreciated. So yeah. Um, I think Nick, Tom and Phil really just summed up everything there, to be honest with you. Um, last few comments. Uh, let's just see. Hope Leeds lose and start going crap. Yeah, it's wishful thinking, isn't it? Um, agree a lacklustre approach, Phil Upton says. Andrea says we had the better chances we did, but we didn't We didn't put them away, so they're pointless. Um, Wayne says performance was crap. Scott says mentality shot. What can Mareska do is the question. Can he motivate the team? Ben says Enzo has lost the dressing room and Craig said that's us hitting rock bottom. The only way is up from here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I do think that's wishful thinking. Um, and there you go. Hope the, the break screws up leads. We'll see about that. All right. Well, cheers everyone for watching. There are 300 people in the chat. So if you can just drop a like and hit the subscribe button, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, we'll be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. with Jamie. Uh, for his aftermath show so he'll be he'll be talking about the game and getting fans views and everything like that so yeah we'll have the the match on monday as well so we might have a another aftermath show or a, a reaction show to that um but yeah that's it cheers all thanks for watching come on you foxes thanks for watching leicester fan tv 
thanks to our sponsors, Everards, Barlow Blinds, Book Up Eyes, Pink Car Leasing, Distillers Direct, Hologram, Take Me, Newbie and Cow, The Fox's Arms and Rainbows. Run by the fans, for the fans. Follow us on socials at Leicester Fan TV and visit LeicesterFanTV.com for all the latest news, views and videos.